There is something I witness every day I am here at prison. The men who are here face a daily challenge where they must choose to either face their discomfort or to avoid it. Most choose to avoid it and instead resort to habits that mask the discomfort in some way, whether by eating more than their body requires, watching TV for long periods of time, or by whatever means possible. The few that do choose to face their discomfort must also face the darkness within, as it is the source of liberation. However, in such an oppressive and hard environment that often brings thoughts of helplessness or even suicide, Hi everyone, so I've been asked to bring an update and um, I have been, I guess, kind of overwhelmed and wondering when do I bring an update, when is the right time, I don't really even have an update for you that's really anything good, to be honest, um, but I do have some things that I would love to share with you. So today is, what day is today? Today is Sunday, April 3rd. Um, so it's been obviously over a month. Uh, Josh has been in detainment since uh, February 24th in Sherbrooke, Quebec, and um, we've been having this really frustrating dance with the system. And I'm sure I've said before, how do you get justice when the justice system is the one doing the harm? Uh, so this has just been like a really bizarre um, experience and um, I don't wish it upon anyone. Um, obviously, it's taken a lot out of me and a lot out of my family and a lot of out of my friends. And it's interesting, you know, um, they're like, oh, it's just he's a man and he can handle himself as a man and woman acting as police officers, court clerks, whatever you say, they say. Why is it affecting you? It shouldn't be affecting you. Um, it's affecting every single man or woman that I know that knows my brother and my mother uh, because they're really good people. And it affects it affects all of us if we like when we know someone is being you know, held against their will and when an injustice is happening to them. And uh, so it's affecting so many people and in really deep ways. And it's been such a traumatic experience. But anyways, I just want to share something with you that Josh shared with us, my mom and I, when he's, well, in jail, obviously. Um, jail, and, jail and prison, by the way, are two different terms. Prison is when you are sentenced and jail is when you are held against your will and detainment or detention. So here is what Josh had to say about his jail experience so far. Of a phone or the availability of certain foods. This 
is maintained. All are here against their will, whether wrong was committed or not. Through the unjust system, men find ways to be just among themselves. Oh, shoot. So that was just an update on March 24th that my brother did in his uh, journal um, on his experience of jail. And um, I just watched last night Pastor Arthur's release on Rebel News, um, his most recent experience with his tragic experience as well. And um, yeah, what Pastor when Pastor Arthur was uh, speaking about his experience, it sounds, um, you know, different but similar to what my brother is going through as well being held against his will and so uh yeah it's just been such a frustrating process uh we don't speak french the language here and uh so that's really frustrating because i don't comprehend it and the files that my mom and brother have received of their reports is all in french now i don't know about you but i will not agree to a contract or sign a contract if i don't know every single word on the page and i will not trust a lawyer i mean i i could trust a lawyer but even a lawyer it would be so foolish for anyone to sign a piece of paper or agree to a piece of paper when you do not comprehend every single word that is on that page and so um i mean having like a professionally translator, which is something that we're looking for, a court appointed translator might be helpful. Um, you know, uh, hopefully we can find that somewhere, but I will never sign a piece of paper or a document that has my life on the line. And um, I'm supposed to trust that to a lawyer to come to give me a vocal summary of that. No, no way, no way. Uh, so uh, we've not been given full closure the whole way through. Um, we've had some injustice and trespasses happen. I wanted to attend a hearing, a virtual hearing that my brother was at. It was a, supposed to be a trial, trial by ambush, uh, but then it turned into a hearing. And so I wanted to attend that. I wished to attend that. I actually required to attend that. I was actually denied access. 
I was denied access by the judge, a public hearing, a public trial hearing, and I was denied access, the sister, to the man who's being tried. Um, so this is just this like this is such a frustrating process. Like I don't really have words for it. <laughs> I have frustration and I have emotions, and I'm processing them. Um, so. Oh, wow, Sarah. So frustrating. Um, to give an update, guys, this is Ernie Racy News. This is Sarah, and it's obviously about Joshua, my friend and associate, and his mom, Annie, who is also dealing with this living hell of the injustice of the justice, the injustice of the justice system. I would like to ask for your help on behalf of Sarah and Annie, who are asking for my help. Annie wrote me a message before all this, actually, saying she was uh, reaching a breaking point, dealing with this bullshit, being charged with <laughs> assaulting a police officer, a peace officer, and and when we all know she was assaulted, if you saw the video where they're, you know, dragged out of the cars, etc., on the ground. Um, there's two ways if you would like to donate to Joshua and his mom, Annie, to help with, of course, the legal fees, which can be thousands of dollars. And on top of that, Annie has to get to these court appearances and, you know, need money for taxis, drivers, translators, etc. So, in the description, check the description, there's a Give, Send, Go that was started a while back. And there is also, um, Sarah has a website for one of her digital businesses, so she gives out digital products that can help you. And it's great because the website gives you a way to pick any, you pick any product you want and set the amount you want to purchase the product for. It's just like digital digital products that can uh, be of information. And uh, it's in link. So then set your dollar, set your $2, set your $50, and buy one of the digital products. And um, that's a great way to donate directly to Sarah and her family. And uh, anyway, Sarah, thank you for the update. And let's continue on with the rest of your video she has a second part which shows her frustration with the system and not having it in English just watching this alone I am really glad I don't live in Quebec I am Marcel Ernie and uh, here we go Sarah and uh, for those that are wondering I um, actually met Sarah first in Kelowna and um, and then I met Joshua and her mom through that connection of Sarah. So, anyways. Okay, so in this next video, I'm just going to share with you a quick sample of what it's like uh, when you don't know how to speak French and you're English and you're trying to get a hold of the justice system so that you can get access to the trial that your brother's in. And, um, you know, on March 29th, when we did not get access, even though we wished and required it, and, much like many like days in advance and everything like that um we spent about 8 a.m to 1 p.m in the afternoon 1 30 p.m actually on the phone and through emails and we have recordings of everything as well as the emails of course uh, record everything and everything when you're dealing with the system but um yeah just no matter what, we just could not get access. So anyways, I just want to share with you a little like frustrating snippet of what it's like to not comprehend the language that, uh, yeah, having to deal with this. So here we are. Five, four, or five, one, four, zero, and option three. Mm -hmm. Just for context, I was calling the uh, the number that was on the email where I was denied access to my brother's trial on March 29th. Um, I wasn't the only one that was denied. Many other people were also denied as well. For some reason, no one was able to get the link to attend on March 29th. 
I find that very curious that they wouldn't want the public, which is our basic right, to be able to attend. Do you want anyone there? Please listen carefully as our 
your menu options have changed. Please choose one of the six following options now. To pay a statement of offense or a notice of judgment, press 1. To speak to an agent regarding a statement of offense or a notice of judgment, press 2. To speak to a fine collector, press 3. For general information, press 4. To hear these options again, press pound. To return to the previous menu, press star. What the Welcome fuck? to the Ministère de la Justice du Québec. Please listen carefully as our menu options have changed. Please choose one of the four following options for the... Clearly, you can see how frustrating that process was. Um, and that was like a good five hours of that. So that was calling um, Montreal Main Court, I guess, Palais de Justice. Uh, pardon my French, but I don't speak it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, just a frustrating process, uh, especially. So I pushed nine and it's supposed to be English, but then all the options are in French anyways. And none of the options are what I'm looking for. <laughs> So just such a frustrating process, um, even including my mom. So anyways, here's a quick update for you guys. Quick update is on April 6th, there's supposed to be a plea hearing. Um, so um, yeah, there's a plea hearing. My mom's going to be there. My brother's going to be there as well. And um, at the moment, mom is still looking for a lawyer, a criminal lawyer in the Granby area, Bedford area. And uh, I believe my brother needs a lawyer as well. Uh, we do need help with uh, legal funds, um, but, you know, we can make, God will make it happen, whatever is meant to be, God, I believe God will make things happen however they need to be hap made happen, but uh, clearly this is just a really frustrating process, I know so many other people are going through something similar, and um, this is not a justice, we do not have a justice system, we don't have a justice system, I believe that we have a human trafficking system. That's what I believe. I believe it's another form of human trafficking. Um, I wish, I wish that I could say something else. I wish that I could say that this is a justice system, but I do not believe that is it is a justice system whatsoever, like in, in what, any way whatsoever. So anyways, April 6th is the next hearing. I can post the details uh, if you, or if you'd like to know the details of how to join and watch the virtual hearing, I recommend requiring access a week in advance so you don't get denied by the judge because <laughs> um, it is your right as a, as a member of the public to be able to attend a public hearing that is so unlawful such a trespass uh, to do that but um anyways thank you so much everyone for all of your support and love and prayers and your generosity as well and uh, we greatly value you we greatly value the prayers around the world that we've received it's it helps us get through you know adversity um not gonna lie i don't like this process one bit <laughs> i can't wait till like this too shall pass but um it is a process that we are going through and i know that we will get through it i just at uh, the moment it's really hard to go through so thank you for your love prayers and support have a blessed day